Hi, we caught up with Anna and Christina and they both work for Zyvee. Anna is a software technical lead and Christina is a test automation expert. Here's their story. They are women working in technology. Hi Christina. Hello. So, why did you choose a career in IT? Well, there's several reasons. The first thing was, uh, I was a mathsy person when I was in school, so I used to like maths and physics. Uh, so that's when people were like, oh, you might choose, you should choose engineering and so on. But I didn't know which uh, field in engineering to be chosen because at that time, in my country, in Sri Lanka, uh, computer science was just a growing field and finding jobs was quite difficult. Uh, so when I chose uh, computer science engineering, I had a lot of questions from people. Are you really sure about it? But I really liked about liked to code and you know logic and those kind of things. I like to explore. Uh, that excitement really put me into uh, IT. I got a partial scholarship in a reputed university in India. Uh, in IT and that's how I started my career but it was really good for me and I'm excited to be in this field even now. What is your area of specialization? Yeah, so basically I started off as a developer. Uh, I've done two internships, one was .NET C Sharp developer then I moved into uh, be being a PHP developer in my next year internship. But now I uh, have moved into test automation and I write a test script and also uh, help with the performance testing. So th that was a growing field again when I started off. It was a risk that I took but I uh, am so happy about it uh, and I'm excited to be because uh, I've gone to multiple conferences now and also I've uh, presented in meetups. So it has been really good for me and I love to contribute to the test automation community and that's me. So why Zyvee? Well, so as I mentioned to you before, I did my uh, PHP developer internship at Zyvee in 2013. I was uh, in my third year in my university and then I joined at Zyvee as an intern. Um, I liked the atmosphere and uh, the colleagues that I had then and I was asked to rejoin once my uh, course was over. So when I came back they had two options for me and I chose uh, the test automation path and then yeah I'm here now almost close to three years. I love the culture, I can be myself and get to learn a lot and that's about being at Zyzee. What would you tell other women who may be thinking of starting a career in IT? First of all, I would like to tell all girls out there, please don't let your gender uh, or any kind of differences stop you from choosing a field. If you really like logic, problem solving, like experimenting and exploring, I think IT is the field that you should choose and just go for it. Don't let any anything stop you. And one more thing is that in a system or for example, IT is there everywhere be it uh, medical field or uh, justice, everywhere IT is involved and the end users are not just one specific gender, females are also the end users. So when you are part of a project as a, a lady, you would be able to also contribute and uh, give for the diversity of that project. So you will have a good outcome and the project will be quite uh, valuable than the project it would have been without a woman in the team and also uh, for women like me who's already in the industry when you guys hop on to the industry I'll feel more part of the community rather than worrying about oh there's only two girls three girls in my office maybe I should leave but when there's more girls you feel more part of the community and that's very important for women to be in IT. So. Do you have a female role model in the tech industry? Well, yes, I have a family member of mine who's uh, in the industry for close to 15 years now. She's in the height of uh, her career at the moment. Uh, when I started, uh, or when I started my degree, uh, she was just blossoming and blooming and she was making her baby steps. And I found her path 
very challenging and exciting and I wanted to incline towards that because that inspired me. So any woman out there who is interested in IT, just don't give it a second thought, go for it. But what do you think the future holds in general for the IT sector? Well, the IT sector has always been growing and uh, I don't see a stop to that. Uh, so now there are cool things like artificial intelligence, neural networking, image processing and so on. So even uh, when I started, test automation, as I mentioned to you, was quite a growing field. And now it has hit its heights and it has become very important in a software uh, cycle so that has become how the trend has changed so something that is very uh, new now can be something very important in the future and that's all about IT and IT is there with everyone it's it's in the tap of everyone's finger uh, it's uh, on a mobile device or a laptop it's there so I think IT is just going to keep on growing and I become predicted how it's going to grow but it's going to keep growing hi Anna hello why did you choose a career in IT since I was very little um, uh, science subjects in high school and school were my favorites um, I was very keen on actually know things in um, physics and mathematics and I think that kind of evolved in high school and, and then I have the, the, the luck that well, I'm from Spain and my hometown in the north of Spain in Oviedo if, uh, the city has a very good university and especially good in uh, computer science so that actually uh, helped me to decide to um, be part of a uh, computer science degree. What is your area of specialization? So I, I started my career on document management, uh, specifically focused on a fresco and from there I diverge and I uh, right now uh, the uh, CISOP lives in Saisi and I manage the team for we call here CISOPs that is basically the operational part of uh, IT and right now also uh, I'm uh, very keen all the architecture in cloud so all the AWS partnership that we have um, leading on that too and also I was the first one that actually get the AWS certification in Zyzee. So why Zyzee? So I, as I said before, I started my career on uh, document management. So when I was working in Spain, I was working for a company that is called CSC and I was part of the document management team and part of Alfresco. When I felt that my career wouldn't progress the way that I wanted there. I started to look at other places and I found out, I mean, the SAISI was the leader on document management system for Fresco at that time and it is uh, already, even though I was in another country. So I just applied for the job here and I'm still here four years later. What would you tell other women? who may be thinking of starting a career in IT? I think I will tell them to go for it. Uh, if they really like um, uh, computer science and uh, IT can, and can be, and it is right now, uh, an awesome uh, field and you, and you are constantly renovate yourself, you are constantly learning new things and thus uh, I think that's uh, one of the perks of the of the job. What do you think the future holds in general for the IT sector? I think um, we are living currently uh, uh, exciting times. Um, I've been in some conference regarding cloud and the changes that we are experimenting right now with uh, all the uh, cloud and the possibilities that that um, offers are incredible um, 
and then I'm, I'm very excited uh, because I'm living it right now.